Hi guys, so I have a lot of axes, well, a lot, quite a few axes, and even some of the good ones don't always come with a sheath or a mask to protect the, the edge or to protect you from the edge. Some of them, like the one I actually purchased recently, really good axe, but it comes with just something like this, just a rubber, tiny little rubber thingy, that uh, it does the job at the time when the axe comes because it's usually not sharp but once you've sharpened it that's what happens and it gets cut and torn really easily really quickly especially you I, I mean I just wouldn't put my axe in the backpack it protects it with something like this this is definitely not enough so I decided I would make some masks for my axes uh, myself because simply I just didn't want to buy anything didn't want to uh, spend a lot of money on something I thought I could do myself so as always there's been a learning curve and uh, some of the first masks I've made not very proud of like <laughs> just look at this it's really thin uh, it's, a, it's a cheap axe so I thought uh, for the first time I might as well just use this one to learn on and uh, I didn't want to use the best leather I had so I just went with something really scrap leather something really thin but it has has a welt through here and uh, some proper rivets and it does the job it just looks nasty it looks funny and um, really nothing to brag about other than it actually protects your hands, protects your backpack and protects the blade. So it works. Doesn't look great, but it works. So for my second mask and uh, for a much better axe, I decided to use much better leather. But again, I used just scrap leather from an old uh, bag that my girlfriend was going to throw away. And I thought like, what? Wait a second. Look at this. It's like two and a half millimeter thick leather. Why would you throw? Why would you throw this away? And uh, so obviously, as you can see, I've already used some of the leather available. I still have some scrap leather inside, and um, the mask and the axe I'm talking about is this the Draper axe. I believe it's not available in the US. I'm not sure, but. Either way, that's not important. It's a very good axe, very nice profile, and very straight. Uh, American hickory again, uh, handle and all that. Uh, pretty good, but it's not the axe that I'm talking about today. It's the mask. Uh, came out much better than the previous one, although I wasn't really very happy with this either. I mean, it's it's it doesn't follow. The curve of the blade it's uh, you know the way you put it in it's not natural normally people would just go like stick it like this and everyone I've actually I've given this mask to everyone was trying to initially put the axe in the mask like that which isn't really how this mask works it works the other way around but as I say this is my second mask uh, and as you can see it's quite loose so in this respect it's, it's even worse than the first one because that one is at least tight but it's not falling out or anything it's sitting here solidly and uh, it, it's protecting the blade it's protecting the backpack and your hands and it looks I think it looks better I think I, I was I was getting a bit better at the time and finally my third mask that I've made recently actually I made it a few a uh, few days ago was for my cold steel trailhawk and this came out really nice it's tight it doesn't move at all it's definitely not falling off and it follows the curve of the blade it actually looks nice I'm actually for the first time I'm happy with my own leather work I mean, I've, I've made some sheaths before, and again, they're functional, <laughs> but I definitely wouldn't uh, 
win any contest with them. Uh, but this still not a contest winner, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with this mask. And this comes out much more naturally, as in you don't have to figure out how to get this off. It just pops out as soon as you uh, open the popper here. And uh, didn't take that much time. But the thing I did differently this time, I think that was actually the key, was I made a paper draft mask for this one. Um, and the mask, mask itself, in the end, came out a little differently because I decided to change the design as I was going. But still, it's really good to have something that you can basically just put on a piece of leather and you can decide when to start, where to start cutting so that you don't use up too much leather if you don't, the leather that you don't have to waste uh, stays there for later. And uh, it's also, I think, due to the fact that I finally had a much better tool which is this Rough Rider sheep's foot knife. It's absolutely perfect for cutting leather along rulers and things like this. It just uh, cuts with no effort. Two and a half millimeter thick leather is no match for this knife, but it also cuts along curves. So you can also use it offhand does the job really nice and I think the fact that this is my third mask counts as well because I uh, made so many mistakes in the past that finally I must have learned something so So yeah, as I say, this mask came out perfect, mainly because the increase of experience, I suppose, uh, better tools and uh, better planning. And yeah, as you can see, the mask comes off and comes on much more intuitively. Um, and even though it's much easier to take it off and put it back on, there's absolutely no play in either way. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to click like, share and subscribe. This has been Simon from Simon's Discoveries. Check out my blog for more, more details as usually. That's simonsdiscoveries.com and uh, once again thanks for watching and see you next time.